So today we are going to make this action groom and this is not a step by step tutorial. I am just going to show you my process. And if you are an old member, you might be thinking where was I for this, this many months and I am suddenly posting a video about action. But before we were doing zebra stuff. So yeah, life happens with everyone and I am finally at my home and I am getting my shit together. So I am just planning to make videos regularly without wasting time and discussing about what was happening in the life and how it's going. Let's get into the video. So you can see that we have our skull pass which we already done in ZBrush and we'll be making the groom according to this skull pass. So before starting making any description, we'll just make a UV unwrap of each mesh which we have already exported from ZBrush. These mesh are exported from ZBrush because that is where I sculpted them. So I'm just doing a basic unwrap, automatic and automatic unwrap or for the strands, I'm just doing this camera based on wrap in Maya. I'm doing this unwrap so that I can make those mesh as paintable mesh so that I can paint the strands on the mesh itself. So you can see I'm going to this paintable option and by holding B we can just change the radius of the brush and that's how we got the strands and we are converting them into curves. These are paint effects converted, converted to curves. Now we are just extracting out a duplicate of the scalp so that we can generate the strands on this mesh. We are not going to use the head mesh itself. And now here's the part of action. We are creating a description. Note that collection is the main folder then subfolder is your description. And we'll put the scalp mesh, head mesh, sculpt mesh in separate layers. Now I'll be, I'll be sitting there like this is fast forwarded, but I was I was sitting there and adjusting the curves and putting each curve into the scalp, creating the guides. So now we are converting the curves into guides. So there's util uh, by going out with the utility, we just converted it. And you can see that I was saving the file while working on action. It's most important to just save your file properly and make sure to check uh, in different intervals that you are with the Maya file, you are already saving .action file also. Because let's say your action crashes, your Maya won't have the data if .action file is not getting saved. So after arranging the guides and um, basic um, covering the basic of Scylla, we will just start creating our maps. So first we will make the density map and we will paint it on the scalp mesh. This will define the overall area from which the strands will grow. And you can also make region map. In this case I made it. So for right side of pairs I made it for green color and the left side will be like red color. This is how you, def you can define the regions like region for the strands to follow and after that it's just a matter of sitting there adding guides adding guides in layers like one guide on top then underneath it the second guide so that is the most tedious part and like i think in the whole overall project it took me around like 20 to 23 hours just doing this thing in most of the system description, I was just making the description, adding the guides, doing some basic density map and region map. And I was just playing with a little bit of clumping modifier, noise modifier. That's it. Like overall time was going into this placement of guides, properly placing the guides so that the, the exigent strands will properly follow it. Before I used to think that um, making grooms are like easy and it's kind of not that tedious instead of making card based hair but i felt like making hairs itself after doing this i felt like making hairs itself is um kind of tedious in every angle like whatever you are making you just have to be sitting there and doing some manual manual work so that you can get the results later on so you can see that this is fast forwarded a lot, but um, 
in this overall part i'm just placing guides one on the top then underneath there is another guide and i'm just basing, basically creating a layer on the whole scalp and uh, so while placing the after placing the guides like basic guides i just i, I just thought of painting few region maps to see if uh, the penetration is not happening with the uh, scalp mesh because sometimes it happens that your guides are going somewhere and your strands which are getting generated are going somewhere they they goes into uh, they they just penetrate the scalp so i, I was just checking it and uh, at the same time i was i applied some basic clumping modifier and this is the density map which i'm painting right now so with the clumping modifier i like defined the basic clumps like not final clumps i was just defining it so that it won't get all kind of fuzzy but yeah you can see that overall in this whole video i was just going to place these guides and uh, define the overall flow of the hair wherever the penetration was happening the excision strands were going into the mesh at that point i was adding the guides so that i can define the area for those strands to go out and follow those separate guides which i'm making i was making and uh, so you can see that region map is there and density map like these two maps are there which are kind of important to define your hair volume your separation i applied some basic noise and i went online and searched for some basic noise expressions and i just copied and pasted it here it's nothing fancy because i don't know that much of scripting and all so i just went online and got some expressions from i think autodex website and i just copied and pasted it here so now i just thought of making these separate chunks into their own descriptions so i just started with this front one and i selected the scalp and again made a new description for this particular chunk and i'll do the this this particular thing with all the strands so that i get the freedom of defining the thickness defining the fuzziness and the clumpiness or clumpiness of each strands like each chunk so you will see that i'll just again go there after making the description i will just go there and select the guides and i'll just place it and after that i will just put basic uh, modifiers like clump and noise cut modifier and i'll just shape them for these chunks also i painted separate density maps and wherever it's, it was required to paint a region map i painted that also but in most of the cases the region map was not required but uh, yeah like later on you will see that if, if i'm defining some thin chunks so for that i had to paint region map so i painted it over action is not that tough but it's kind of um, buggy in, in a way where uh, like one day you will start working on it and it will crash that many times so that you will get fed up like you will get um, fed up of action and you won't even think about doing it again so yeah if you feel like uh, trying action just try it and if you feel if you want me to make more tutorials about action or explaining action how it works like basics you can let me know in the comment section and uh, if uh, if you want some suggestion from where you can learn action i'll suggest you some good tutorials to watch so that you can get a hang of action you don't have to learn it from me everything you can just uh, find some good creators who are who are there from which from whom i'm learning and you can learn learn from them also basically you can see that mostly i'm just going there painting the region map density map placing the guides playing with little bit of modifiers so here you can see i'm just painting small dots for those particular thin chunks to just go out in proper direction and if they are colliding with each other so i'm just for for that i'm just making proper region maps so that um, those region and mask will sync with each with each other and those strands will follow them follow their their own guides properly and one setting was there like while making the region map i was not turning that region map uh, value of well, value number to one i was just painting the map and saving it and as i was thought thinking that why it's not working but yeah the value if the value is one it will work 
so for the sideburns i made a separate description and made it like separately and for the front flyaways or like small hairs i just made a separate description so these are the small small stuffs which will make your hair look more realistic whatever amount of work you will put in put in your asset you will see the results later on but if you are starting for a practice project or if you are going for a practice project you just go ahead and try a small stuff like do a grooming on like spear or any panda character or any cute character don't go for a big project because i i used to do this mistake every time i take big projects and later on i thought i thought why it's not getting completed so yeah this was how i made this action groom thank you so much for watching this video and i just wanted to show you a small glimpse of our next project so here it is Stay tuned for that.